Hi guys, Nya Jong, it's Evie here and for today I am super excited to share with you guys my high-end dupe DIY project. I have been eyeing this beautiful table lamp from Urban Outfitters for months now. I just love everything about it except for the price yes dang price um so if you guys know me then you guys know that i am super cheap i don't like to buy anything that is expensive and this one definitely falls on the expensive side um my motto is that if i can diy it i'd rather do that than buy it um there is nothing wrong with this beautiful lamp but i'm just not at the level where i can splurge on this lamp comfortably with this price point so instead i'll be making over one of my old table lamp and hopefully i can turn it into a beautiful table lamp like the urban outfitter one anyways without further ado let's go ahead and get started so the first thing i did was remove the shade from the base so that i can give the base a good clean because it was dirty 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 guys this hasn't been cleaned in a while and so it collected a lot of dust after I finished cleaning the base, I set it to the side and now I'll be working on the shade. For the shade, I'll be using these two items that I purchased from Dollar Tree and they are these giant bamboo skewers and this luau skirt. Another option you can use are these wooden dowels instead of these skewers as they are already good to go. However, I still like the skewers more because I was able to get more out of them and as well as stretch my dollar farther. The next thing I did was measure the current height of my lampshade in order to use those measurements for my new shade as well. And once I got the measurement, I went ahead and marked all of my skewers and so I was able to get three pieces out of one of my skewers which was a total of 36 pieces since there were 12 skewers in a pack. So originally I used a box cutter to score down my skewers however that took a little bit longer than expected to get them to break down and on top of that it was really hard to grip it while trying to score it down with a box cutter. So then I decided to try a scissor instead and that worked so much better. Unfortunately, it did give me blisters because I was such a dummy. I ended up cutting two packs of the skewers because I thought I needed a lot more, but turns out I only needed one pack. So to save your fingers, definitely start off with one. If you're planning to use a skewers route, start off with one and then work your way from there so that you don't cause blisters on your hand. Or you can use a jigsaw or a table saw to save your fingers. After that, I cut off the burlap in order to free it from the metal frame because I don't need the burlap, I just need the frame in order to create my new shade with. And thankfully, it wasn't too difficult to remove the burlap. Um, I think it's because it's been so old that the glue isn't hard, so it was really easy to remove it from the frame. So now it is time to create the beautiful shade and in order to do that, I'll be using hot glue to attach the sticks to the frames. So I'll be working with the top frame first and I'll be gluing three of the sticks to three corners of the frame in order to create a support system so that I can glue the bottom frame onto it a lot easier. So I did glue the sticks on the outside of the top frame and then for the uh, bottom frame the sticks will be glued on the inside of the frame and that is mainly because my frames are different in width sizes if they were the same I would have glued the sticks on the outside so that it looks nicer but because they are not I had to do one inside and one outside once the support was good to go, the rest of the sticks was super easy to attach on. However, my stick started having a slight turn curve to it. I don't even know how that happened, but it did. I think it's maybe because the shape size of the frame are not the same, so it caused a slight curve to it. Uh, but that was an easy fix. I just had to readjust some of the sticks to kind of curve with it so that it kind of blend. Um, it looks kind of funny, but I don't think you can really tell if you don't focus on it. Um, 
but yeah it is what it is this is what happens when you diy your own things but i still love it regardless so the last thing i did was use the raffia from the luau skirt to cover up the frame with any imperfection and this also helped give it a finished look so for this part i wasn't able to replicate the original they have an x mart on theirs and i really like that detail but i just couldn't for some reason i just couldn't create that so i just started doing my own thing with the raffia um so for the top of the frame i wrap the raffia around the frame in between each of the sticks and kind of partially covering the metal so that not a lot of the metal was exposed So because I really like the X detailing from the original one, I did something similar to it, but it is a little bit different. So what I did was that I twisted my raffia so that it gives it a little bit more texture to it. And then I looped the raffia behind one of the sticks and then I crossed them over to create the X detail. And then I looped the ends onto the top of the frame and glue it down to keep it in place. And that is pretty much it. It is not exactly the same, but I think this little detail makes it look so much better and nicer. And so I repeated this process to the top of the frame. However, I did not do this to the bottom of the frame since the sticks were on the inside. And then I finished wrapping up the rest of the frame with the raffia. And so this is it for this DIY project. Let me take you guys back to how my table lamp looked like before, before I do the big reveal. And in case you guys forgot, here is the inspiration that I used. <laughs> okay i am done teasing you guys here is my new table lamp So this beautiful lamp is actually for my new office space, which I am so, so excited about. I have been working really hard trying to get all the pieces together, trying to create a beautiful but functional space. So I can't wait to share that video with you guys, hopefully by the end of May. Fingers crossed I can get it all done and completed by then. Um, but anyways, let me know what you guys thought about this project in the comments down below. I would love to read all about it. And if you guys are curious on how much I spent on this revamp, I spent about $7 including the cost of the lamp and materials as opposed to the original price of $149 which isn't bad right you guys um i love it when i can save and save and save and still create a beautiful piece that i love anyways you guys thank you so much for joining me have a blessed and wonderful day and i'll see you guys in my next video